All right, we're back here in the Bearded Garage, America. Hey, uh, so I gotta work on the car, but man, I get distracted all the time. So uh, one of the things that we actually just run into is uh, I wanna do a little bit of cleaning, uh, some spring cleaning, and I noticed that my pressure washer uh, is leaking water off the side of the pump. So uh, before I break into some new jobs, I gotta do some maintenance. And uh, it looks to me like that means I'm gonna have to replace the entire pump. Uh, so I'm going to take this damn thing apart. I'm going to put it all back together. And hopefully it's going to pressure wash great. So, um, <laughs> and that's so I can clean out a spot. So I have a place to work. So, um, if, if it's not one thing, it's another, it's always, always maintenance. Uh, Hey, I want to take the engine out. Oh, you can't cause you, you got tires in the way and you can't get the tires out because you got to wash them and the pressure washer broke. So you got to put a pump in. <sighs> okay, fine. So we'll do the pump. Then we do the tires. Then we do the car. All right. Um, I will be back in a minute. All right, so uh, this is the replacement pump made by Develbus. Um, this is, so the reason I'm working on this, this is the five horse um, uh, gas pressure washer with a Honda motor. Uh, frankly, the Honda motors are, are pretty decent ones. This wasn't super expensive. I mean, they're three, 400 bucks anyway. Um, but I can pick up a pump, a uh, replacement pump for about 80 bucks. I'm pretty positive it is the pump because I don't know if you can see, but right here, there's actually a crack in the uh in the cast housing so water sprays out there so i'm positive that it either froze over the winter or the last person to borrow it last year uh busted it up so um i'm guessing it froze uh even though we drained it maybe i just missed it so um yeah so we're gonna be doing this job now all right now we're getting into this a little bit um all i did is i took the plastic cover off the top it was about four screws um, I undid the four bolts at the base of the motor. Um, they were actually, um, actually pretty simple. Um, what I noticed, uh, real quick, as you can probably tell is this is the pump and this is the replacement pump. So yeah, not even close to the same. However, it looks like it's going to work. So, um, I'm going to walk you through how and why I think it's going to work. Um, so first thing I did is I take a look and I got a I got to look like a spline shaft here, or a, a, a gear. Uh, that's what engages the pump here, okay? But I'm gonna take this pump because I now I can see exactly what's wrong with it. If you zoom in, you can see there's actually cracks all the way up the side and they actually get worse um, all over it. So that's the reason it was spraying water. So the next thing I did is I took a look at this, uh, this gear and um, I pulled out the set screw. I'm gonna pull this guy off. Uh, one of the things I'm lucky at with that that came with this um, with this kit is a set of replacement screws. Um, so I will be putting uh, new screws in. But what I'm going to do is um, looking at this. This isn't just going to bolt right on here. I mean it will. Um, but the key is I got a keyway there and a keyway there. I don't have a key. So the part is in the kit. They provide you a key. So. I'm gonna slap this key in place, um, see how I can actually slap it and keep it in place because it's also loose in there. So um, put it in place. It's gonna look different. The plastic shrouding is not gonna fit, but you know what? For 80 bucks, I got myself a pressure washer back again. Um, this thing comes pre-filled with oil too, so I don't have to do anything. I just replace it and, and keep going. So um, that is, looks like it's as easy as, uh, easy as it needs to be. This is less than 10 minutes of work. I uh, figured out what the problem is. I'm glad it was the pump. Uh, no, I'm not glad, but I, now I realize it really is the pump. And we're going to go from there. All right, be back. All right, now we're on to the next step. <clears throat> As you can probably see here, first thing I did is uh, once I pulled that gear off, I hit that with a little bit of aero croil. If you don't know what aero croil is, um, it's really a penetrating oil, but uh, it, honestly, it's, it's great for pretty much everything. It's a WD-40 on crack, essentially. Um, I use it for, um, in fact, I, I was told by it, told about it, but a, a machinist friend, um, he uses it for everything. I actually used it, one of the best things recommended for doing uh, resurfacing a table saw top. Uh, so anyway, so first thing I did, spray a little aerocroil in there, um, hit it with the wire brush. I just don't like putting stuff back together rushy, uh, rusty. I also don't like having um, these surfaces not nice and clean before I put them together. Don't need to worry about a gasket on this. Um, the, the two surfaces really don't keep a lot of, um, they're not keeping water or pressure or anything out. So um, I got the, I got my spline on. I am going to slide this, hopefully it'll go right on. Okay, I got 
Come on, come on, come on. Um, and it looks like the key moves a little tiny bit. Um, and at first I was a little concerned, but at first I thought, you know, one of the tricks, one of the tricks of the trade sometimes is, um, is you can actually use a little bit of super glue in there just to hold it, just to get it in place. Um, but what I found is if you look in here, it's going to be a captured piece anyway. So it's not like it's going to fall down into ruin the pump. So, um, I don't think there's any way of that thing coming out because if you can see at the back there, um, it is captured. So shouldn't be a big deal. Just got to get it done the first time and then we should be good to go. In fact, being that it's captured, it might even mean it's easier to do it this way. Uh -huh. Be good about not falling into the pump. Um, there is a way to do it. And we'll see if I can do it with one hand while I'm holding the damn phone. We'll see if I got that talent going on here. I don't know if you can see. Boom! See that? All right, now we just line up the bolts. Bolt that bad boy back together. Uh, the plastic isn't going to fit, but ah, who cares? We're going to fire it up and start using it. So the only other thing they do is uh, there is this red piece here that comes with it. Um, that is a, um, I think it's an oil relief valve, I think. Um, uh, this here, I think, is the overpressure valve. So, um, and then your soap connects back on the top and boom, you're good to go. So I think this is a damn good idea. Um, I can put a link to it in the video if you want. Uh, it is a Develvis replacement pump for an Excel um, XR265. So um, decent, decent unit, but 80 bucks, you know, I, I found all the used ones I find online. Um, it appears to me I'll use pressure washers if I'm gonna pick up now. Uh, you're running a couple hundred bucks and half of them don't work. So people do the same thing and they just throw them away. So, um, all right, that's it for this guy. All right, this pressure washer is back together. Elapsed time, about 20 minutes. Um, we got all the spare parts here on the table. Um, this is just an old pump crap that we didn't need. Um, the covers, manual for the new one. And uh, luckily all the tools are back in the drawer. Look at this, God damn, I just picked this up and I gotta tell you, you know, to wheel this over and work on what you need to work on with the tools you need to work on. Woo, that's great. So we're gonna fire this puppy up, make sure she works and uh, get back to doing the other job we actually meant to do. All right, later. All right, so we hooked her up. We're gonna pull her started here. Turn it on. Pull it. Hope she, uh, hope she runs great. you fix a pressure washer in about 20 minutes so a brand new pump looks a little different who cares because it works like a champ so um, that's just the uh, the um, 40 degree uh, nozzle on the front uh, but what's great is uh, before it was just barely peeing out and it was spraying out the side of it so it looks like she's good to go all right cool that's it for beater garage uh, if you like this uh, please uh, try uh, stay tuned but also um, like and subscribe thanks everybody